Well, joining me in studio now is the founder of the Atta Mills Institute. He's the former Gen Deputy General Secretary of the NDC, Koku Anidoho. And you recall yesterday we brought you that story of some of the reactions that greeted the memorial lecture which was held yesterday by the Atta Mills Memorial Heritage. Thank you very much, Koku Anidoho, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Kamala. And before we react to some of the things that uh, Alex mentions, it's 10 years already. Time flies. Well, it does. Yeah. It does. It does. Time yeah. flies and... Um, some of us are very happy and excited that um, we were able to keep the, the fire burning in a positive direction. In 10 years, a couple of years ago, it wasn't in vogue for everybody to talk about our terminals. 10 years down the line, people want to join, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 years, it's, 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 it's just come and gone, but um, we've done our bit to, yeah. keep, to keep him alive, yes. I, I know you, have, you still have fond memories of him that will never leave you. I do have fond memories, Komla, but I think that for me, I can't continue to cry, I can't continue to weep, hence my determination via the Tamils Institute to keep his legacy alive. We okay. have done it in the past 10 years. We've been nailed to many crosses because we sought to keep the legacy alive. The best thing we are doing, if there's any heritage that can keep President Moses' legacy alive, that heritage is that Sungay Park, his final resting place, Kamala. Okay. Um, Atamas Institute had to go to President Akufuado, plead with him, because for some reason, the four and a half years that we were in power after he passed, Asungay Park was not built. President Akufuado graciously has agreed. Asungay Park is being built. And if people don't know the story, you know, but you talked about hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Maybe I said it, in, I tweeted in jest, but the just had to do with the fact that when Atamus Institute announced in 2020 that um, President Kufado had given the go-ahead for the Coastal Development Authority to build Asunge Park, oh man, he has become MPP, he's a traitor, he has crossed carpet, blah, blah, blah. But yesterday, you had representatives, President Kufo's rep was there, former president, and there was a minister of state from the office of the president. The president, yes. Komala, in terms of caliber and pedigree, if this new institute and this new heritage... heritage. And they are welcome. I mean, Alexis is a fine gentleman. If that's what he wants to do, and like he said, there's enough space for everybody. And so they are welcome. But I'm saying that if it is now in vogue to deal with appointees of President Akufuado, in terms of stature, in terms of pedigree, in terms of integrity, that Tamils Institute respectfully is already dealing with the president of the Republic of Ghana. And so who has pedigree, who has stature? So I think the hypocrisy was in that, in that in line that and in that jest that, okay. look, if it is now okay to deal with ministers of state, then thanks for endorsing a Tamils Institute, a Tamils Institute for going to the President of the Republic of Ghana, who has graciously agreed that the Coastal Development Authority should build that heritage site, okay. which is the most important heritage site of the late President. And just as um, Alex Sebefia said in that interview, yeah. there's a lot of oh, space lot, for a lot, anybody a lot, a lot, a lot, to come along. But why does it appear from the tweets that we saw last night that he holds something against some of the elements in the oh. party and those who were at that event, for example, specifically John Mahama? I, I hold nothing against anybody. Okay. But facts remains that the, 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 the person who benefited, benefited the most directly, and he has said so himself. Even yesterday. Even yesterday he said it. Thank you. So I'm not misquoting anybody or being mischievous. His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama was the direct beneficiary of the passing of his boss, John Evans Atamels. He became president for four and a half years. For some reason... Asungye Park was not built. Now, for me, having worked with a president before and this president, at any point in time, there's only one president in the republic. Right. You can't have two presidents, only one president. If one president didn't do it, nothing stops me because of my vision hmm, to see the other president and plead with him to do it. Okay. And that's precisely what we have done. All right. And so we, I, take, we take humble pride in the fact that President Kufado is building that Sungay Park. Atamus Institute, yes, led the way 
went to beg, but I'm sure on 24th of July this year, when President Akufuado is commissioning Asumge Park, the glory shall be for God and country. That is where I'll get my satisfaction. I also saw one of the tweets prior to yesterday's event. You said you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with John Mahama. If you met him today, what would be some of the discussions you have with him? I'm curious. Well, Kamala, there are some issues. The, after the passing of President Mills, and I'm sure the nation knows, there has been this attempt to create the impression that I was very disrespectful to him when he was vice president. I'm sure you know. And for me, that conversation will be, Your Excellency, was I ever rude to you as vice president? It's not possible, Kamala. President Mills was a strict disciplinarian. The secretary to the president, Mr. James Bibaku Mensah, strict disciplinarian. Even he will check even your tie, your necktie, your attire, and make sure that you are dressed properly. The chief of staff, John Henry Martin Newman, another disciplinarian. The number one disciplinarian was Professor Kofi Awuno, chairman of the Council of State. Right. Apart from that, I come from a home. Good discipline from my home. How on earth was it going to be possible to be disrespecting the executive vice president of the Republic of Ghana? It was just sheer propaganda. But you see, the times and seasons, they said I was too powerful. How powerful was I? He gave me a job to do. I was operating on the principle of double P, protect and project the president. You protect him, you project him. That's what I was doing. Okay. I, was not going to, I was never going to undermine him. So if somebody thought that I would undermine the president to his or her advantage, and so I didn't do so, and he or she feels aggrieved, I have no sympathies for the person. In wrapping up, um, I know you have a number of activities lined up yes. you know, to commemorate the 10 years since the passing of yes. the former president. Uh, in answering the wrap-up comments for me, also, would you accept an invitation to be part of this heritage in the future? No, it's impossible to be part of them because I already have a baby that is already up and running. Okay. It's enough work for me. It's keeping me busy. I'm unable to be part of this. But if they have an event and they want us to collaborate, why not? Okay. You know, I mean, it doesn't spoil anything. But unfortunately, they didn't invite me. We have invited them to all our events. That is President Mahama. He has never showed up. We've invited the party hierarchy, they've never showed up. Individuals will come. And because ours is apolitical, we will invite other political parties, just as they did yesterday. But you see, they didn't invite me yesterday, but I was present. You, you, know, why? you know why? Now, now, Yelita Bampoado mm. read a certain message. Okay. If she doesn't know, that message was crafted by Koko Anido. And it is in this, the journey, this is um, something that I prepared when President Mills passed on. It's, it's a pictorial representation of his life. Okay. I captioned all the pictures personally, every single picture I did. So my, my affinity and affiliation to President Mills, it's not, it's not contrived, but this is what she read, with your permission. Briefly, Ever, briefly. Everlasting message. I came to serve, I have finished my time here on earth and have moved on to everlasting rest and celestial duties with my heavenly father. As you live, live through these, these pages of my life story, I pray to God that it touches you in many positive ways. Weep not, for I am not dead. I am alive and I wake in the Lord. Ghana will not die. Ghana will live to declare the works of the Lord. As I rest in perfect peace in the celestial realms with my maker, I pledge to always uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. Remember the Lord in all your ways and he will protect you. Stay well, my brothers and sisters, for I shall always be with you. John Evans at Tamils. Okay. This was crafted by Samuel Kokusi Chopa And it was read yesterday. It was I wasn't invited. Okay. I, I was there. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kokwa Thank you. Anidoro there. He is the founder of the Tamils Institute that's speaking to us. And in the course of time, they'll be giving us a rollout of events to mark one decade or 10 years since the passing of the former president.